hey, there's more good news if you not only want to use Evernote as more than a repository for all of your notes. You can now link your calendar to Evernote. I want to show you how. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards with another tip on how you can use Evernote effectively. Hey, do me a favor, hit the like button below if you like these kinds of videos and please subscribe, then you won't miss any future episodes here on YouTube. For a long time, Evernote was a powerful online service that allowed you to take a lot of notes and store your notes. But in the last year or so, they've been adding features such as task management widgets that make it a more of a one-stop shop for productivity. Now you can link your Google Calendar with Evernote. You can now, for example, see your appointments on the Evernote home screen. Here's an example of what it might look like. See how the calendar appears along with all of the other widgets? A couple of things to clear up at the very beginning. Now, when I first heard about this feature, I thought, man, this is really great, except for the fact that I don't use Google Calendar. Is this feature going to work with other calendars? Well, the immediate answer is no. It only works on Google's calendar, but they promise to integrate more calendars in the future. So for people like me who aren't gonna switch calendars, I guess we just have to be a little bit patient. But if you're a Google Calendar user, this feature will very likely appeal to you. Now, before we do a walkthrough, one more caveat. You do need to have a personal, professional, or Teams subscription to make this work. In other words, if you're using the free plan, uh, this won't work for you. So here's what you can do when you link your accounts. You can create notes for events instantly and get quick access to them right from the new calendar widget on the home screen. You can prep for all of your meetings ahead of time or on the spot. You click on the note and there is all the information you will need. You can also search for event details. Now, Evernote also says that they'll have other related features coming soon. Like, for example, never forget to take notes when you need to. Evernote will be able to remind you or to create a note before or immediately after an event. That's coming. So let's take a look at some things here. Now, customers with a personal subscription are able to connect calendars from one Google account. Customers with a professional or team subscription are able to connect calendars from up to five different Google accounts. So as you can see, we're on the Evernote home screen here. And uh, as you see, uh, you have a lot of different options by listing all of the, the uh, top notebooks that you have, tags, uh, tasks, etc. But for the purpose of our discussion, we're talking about calendar. So what you have to do is you click in that calendar widget the Connect to Google Calendar button, and that will bring up this screen. You'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account, accept all of the permissions, and you'll get a notification that Evernote wants to access your Google account. And you click on the Allow button. It tells you that you've successfully connected your calendar, and now you can go back to the app. It asks you what calendar you want to link uh, you may have more than one, but as you can see, all I have is one. So it's selected, and I click Done. Believe it or not, that's it. That's all you need to do, and you are connected. You'll then see your calendar items in Evernote. There are two views available, Timeline View and List View. Timeline View shows your events on a timeline. So it's really easy to see when you have events and when you have breaks in your schedule. Here now is the list view. List view will bring all your events together into a list with the time of each event listed underneath the event title. To switch between views, you click the more options button, those, those three little dots, and select timeline or list from the view item uh, as, uh, as your uh, selection. Here's how you move around the widget. Click Calendar in the widget title to open an expanded view of the calendar. Click the Calendar button in the upper right corner to bring you back to today's date. Click those three dots, that More Options button in the right corner to view more actions you can take. Click the left and right arrows to navigate to the previous or next day. Click the date to select the date on the calendar. 
or click an event to bring up event details and view more actions that you can take. As I said at the beginning, if you have a free Evernote account, this feature won't work for you, but everyone can give it a test drive. If you have Google Free Plus or Premium, there is a free 14-day trial of this new feature. You don't have to give them any of your credit card information. That trial uh, includes the ability to connect one or more Google accounts, uh, as well as customize your home page. You'll have the option to upgrade your plan at the end of the trial. Uh, you may only be able to try one feature trial at a time. After all, Evernote has to make some money. They have a business plan as well. So I hope you found this uh, helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future episodes of my Evernote tips and tricks, a periodic feature of my YouTube channel. One other thing I want to tell you, I periodically uh, write about productivity and uh, management and leadership issues. I post all the articles on my website, but the other offer I want to make is that uh, I also publish a free weekly newsletter, and it is available if you are interested. In fact, I'd really like to send it to you. All you have to do is ask for it. Uh, just uh, send me an email, or even better yet, go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, click on contact, fill out the information, and I will get you on the list. I promise I don't spam you. I'll never sell your email address uh, to anyone else. I'm Dave Edwards. See you soon and stay productive.